Miss Halima Shakur. Yes. Come with me. State your name. Halima Shakur. Ian Roberts. State your profession. Director of the Woman Trial. Woman Trial Chief Investigator. Let me tell you what I do. I work for an independent regulator of medical evidence. We operate based on the assumption that any effectiveness claim that can't be substantiated is audacious. We investigate and we prosecute. So this morning I read that an inexpensive generic drug called tranexamic acid reduces the risk of bleeding to death from postpartum hemorrhage by almost a third. This is the leading cause of maternal death, Dr. Roberts. And I would suggest this is just barn door audacity. Our claim was not audacious. I will be the judge of that. How old are you? That's irrelevant. He's just a kid. Is this your first job? I requested your case. Of the 500,000 maternal deaths that occur every year, a quarter of these occur in South Asia. Postpartum hemorrhage being the leading cause of death. So, so yes, I, I may be young, but please do not misconstrue my youth for either ignorance or inexperience, as I intend to investigate your claim thoroughly. Understood? What do you want to know? Okay, so as you can imagine, when a, when a copy of The Lancet landed on my desk last week, and lo and behold, I read that down at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, they've trialled this drug, this, this TXA. Tranexamic. Tranexamic acid, that's right. A drug treatment that reduces the risk of bleeding to death from postpartum hemorrhage by almost a third. And I thought, wow, I mean, that sounds too good to be true. Which is why this conversation is so important, which is why I requested your case. Because usually when things sound too good to be true, they are. So, Ms. Shakur, tell me what you did. I work with doctors and nurses in 21 countries to randomize over 20,000 mothers with severe bleeding to receive tranexamic acid or not. Originally 15,000. Sorry? Well, it was originally 15,000 patients. Um, can I ask why you increased the sample size? Because we wanted a larger sample size to detect an effect on mortality. See, now, I hope you'd say that. Which brings me on my, to my next point. The primary outcome wasn't statistically significant now, was it? Sorry? Well, you set out to see if tranexamic acid reduced the risk of death or hysterectomy. I mean, look, I have it here in the protocol. You achieved nothing, no, no effect at all. And then you released this paper here, suggesting that you were expecting this outcome all along. And that very conveniently switches the focus to death, don't you see? And I'm smelling something here, Halima, and I'm not liking it. Well, you're, you're partly correct about the hysterectomy, but... Well, well what was it? You know, I, I'm sensing a little bit of post-hoc data dredging going on here. Is that an official term, post-hoc data dredging? You should know better. You don't have to answer that. I want to. It's really important. I admit we got it wrong on hysterectomy. What did you get wrong? Only after the trial started did we realise that many women were being prepared for hysterectomies even before they got the trial treatment. Halima, I know for a fact that you work very closely with a number of hospitals. Now, why could you not foresee this happening? Because in rich countries like ours, hysterectomy is a last resort. But in poor countries in Africa and Asia, where women are profoundly anemic and at high risk of death, hysterectomy is an early treatment to stop them dying. So, TXA couldn't actually prevent these hysterectomies? Correct. I see. So, Dr. Roberts, you claim, or audaciously, I suggest, that tranexamic acid reduces the risk of bleeding to death by almost one third. But that's not what I read. The reduction in all-cause mortality was not statistically significant. Do you think I'm stupid? Tranexamic acid reduces bleeding, but it's not an antibiotic. It's not going to stop mothers dying from sepsis. 
It's not an anticonvulsant, so it's not going to stop them dying from eclampsia. Then why were you not more specific about this in the pre-specified statistical analysis plan? We were. Check your facts. We made it crystal clear in the statistical analysis plan that was published before we knew the results. Look, all cause mortality is not the right outcome. It's not relevant and it's not generalizable. You explain why not. If that is your claim, then defend it. Look, bear with me. This isn't the time for distractions. This is really quite serious. Right. Miss Shakur, look, I know you can explain this to me here and now, but can you actually prove it? Yes, I can. We made it perfectly clear in the statistical analysis plan before the trial results were unblinded that we expected the effect of tranexamic acid on hysterectomy to be biased towards an all. So these two lines represent the number of deaths in the untreated and the treated group. The risk ratio is basically just the ratio of deaths. So the bananas represent death due to bleeding. There are three in the untreated group and two in the treated group. In other words, there's a one-third reduction in death due to bleeding with tranexamic acid. Now look at the apples. These are the non-bleeding deaths. There are the same number in each group because tranexamic acid has no effect on the non-bleeding deaths. So the one-third reduction in death due to bleeding becomes a one-sixth reduction in all-cause mortality. But if there's a real reduction in death due to bleeding and no increase or decrease in non-bleeding deaths, there must be a real reduction in all-cause mortality. Ms. Shakur, answer me this, but before you do, you choose your words very carefully. Why shouldn't I charge the woman trial with audacity? Because it's not audacious. Tranexamic acid reduces the risk of mothers bleeding to death by about a third if given early. Okay, and what did you find in the surgery? We found that tranexamic acid reduced the need for surgery for bleeding. And on top of this, we saw no side effects. This is exactly what we saw in trauma and in surgery. So what you're saying is it wasn't audacity at all? We request that the charge of audacity be replaced with the charge of privilege. Excuse me, Dr. Shaw. Go ahead. All right, Gov. Pelham. A word, please. One moment, Dr. Roberts. Anything? I've checked the statistical analysis plan and it seems that everything's been laid out in advance. I've spoken with Rosanna Chowdhury, the Pakistani national coordinator, and apparently she's been warning them about hysterectomy ever since the very beginning. It seems they eventually listened. You know, I'm starting to think this might not be a case of audacity at all. Well, if that's what you think, then sounds good. This, this could be exciting. Exciting? What, what do you mean? Exciting. Well, you, you know, if, if they've found an inexpensive drug that can reduce the risk of women bleeding to death after childbirth by a third, then it could be massive. Go on, uh, I'll actually grant you this one. In this case, I can see an excellent result, so great work. <laughs>